Business Insider recently published an article from a part-time rideshare driver titled, I'm a driver for Uber and Lyft. Here's exactly how much I make in one week on the job. And in it, he mentions that for the week, he made $18.72 per hour in just ride earnings. But he left out one major calculation. And that major calculation is, you guessed it, expenses. So he does mention at the very end that his per hour ride earnings were before expenses, but he should have included that calculation in the article and mentioned expenses more often. Articles like these are disingenuous and do a disservice to people that are looking to become rideshare drivers because expenses are something that you always have to think about. As rideshare drivers, we have to spend money to make money. And the main expense we have are car. Um, whether you own, lease, or rent your car, it's a major expense every month. Your car payment, insurance, gas, maintenance, these are all expenses that you incur in order to be a rideshare driver. Now to be fair to Business Insider and this driver, calculating the true cost of your vehicle is difficult. And that's one of the reasons we like to recommend programs like FAIR. Their new program gives drivers the first week free, which is $195 value. And then after that, it's $195 per week so you know exactly how much your car is costing you. For example, say you drive 40 hours during the week and the car is costing you $195 for the week, it equals almost $5 per hour plus whatever you spend on gas for the week. And if you're interested in signing up with FAIR, uh, we'll leave our sign-up link in the description and the pinned comment. But back to the article, um, when he says this is exactly what he made driving, that's not quite true. Um, it's exactly what he made in ride earnings for the week. Exactly what he made is his net, which is what he should have calculated in the article. So let's do some math for him. At the very end of the article, he says that he drove 13.75 hours for the week and he made $18.72 per hour before expenses. And he does mention one expense, gas, which he calculated cost him $13.22, which right off the bat reduces his per hour earnings to $17.75. But that still is not the full picture. Like we said before, if he has a car payment, he needs to calculate a portion of that in as well as well as a portion of the insurance payment that he makes. In the article, he does discuss how he woke up one morning and his car had a flat from a nail and he was due for new tires anyways, so he ended up getting four new tires and an oil change and the total bill for that was $430.22. This is a part of regular vehicle maintenance and needs to be calculated into hourly pay too. Now, as far as calculating what his car actually costs him, um, we could try and use something like the standard mileage rate, which is um, 58 cents per mile for 2019, but that's still not a great number because it can be too conservative. But the vehicle that the driver in the article uses is a Prius, and we actually calculated the per mile cost of driving a Prius in an article on the Rideshare Guy blog, and that cost was 19.5 cents per mile. Okay, so let's look at a spreadsheet. He calculated his hourly gross in the article. He made $257.34 for the week in 13.75 total hours, which would be an hourly gross of $18.72. Now let's look at his expenses. He said he drove 291.1 miles for the week for Lyft and Uber, and using the per mile cost that we calculated for a Prius, which is 19.5 cents, you get a total cost for the week of $56.76. Now we can calculate net earnings and net per hour. So his weekly gross minus expenses, so the 257 minus the 56.76 would be $200.58. Divide that by his 13.75 total hours for the week and you get his net per hour, which was $14.59 per hour. So $14.59, um, a reduction of just over $4 per hour compared to his gross per hour. This is what rideshare driving actually looks like. So the main thing that we wanna take away from this is that you always have to think about expenses. Your gross ride earnings are never the complete picture. Um, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.